Hello and welcome to another video from School Tech HQ. Today we're going to be looking at how to make using the radio signals. So first thing we're going to do is start a new project. Call it radio signals or sending messages, whatever you want to call it, and we'll get started. Now the first thing we need to do once we have connected our micro bit and got onto our make code editing app, we then need to go to the three dots to connect our micro bits. Always the first thing we do, especially with young learners make sure it's connected and we just have to pair it so a pop-up window will show up and there we go we now have our connected micro bit now what this does it means that when we create a code it can easily and quickly just download straight to it we don't have to worry about transferring files and stuff it's just a lot easier first thing what I usually get people to do as well is click download now this means whatever was on the micro bit before will be erased so you're starting fresh with a blank micro bit and you can begin so for this, we do not need our forever. We only need our on start. And for this radio, we're going to use the functions in, if we go to our code palette, this radio section here. We're then going to use this one first one here, which is radio set group one. And we're going to click and drag that and add the enter on start. Now this works just like uh, walkie talkie or radio does. You have a frequency or channel. This is our channel here. It can go all the way from zero to 255. So in a classroom or if you use multiple devices you can choose only a set number to send messages to or a data to so i'm going to pick 90 for now and we'll leave it at that next thing we're going to do is we need to create our sending a message now you can send a few messages you can send a number or a string or some other forms of data but today we're just going to focus on numbers and strings to get started so if we go to input we click on button a pressed and we use that here this means when we press A, we want it to send a number to another micro bit. So then we go down to radio. And you see we've got, they've split up this radio section into group, send, and receive. And we're going to use this radio send number. So I'm going to click and drag that and add that into our, our on button A pressed. So now we've got on button A pressed. I'm going to change that to number four. Now our micro bit has the ability to send a number if I press in the simulator, press A, you see the little zigzag happens in the corner and it will send to this one. Another micro bit appears in the simulator to show what would happen if you send it. But the problem is though nothing is showing up. This is because our micro bit doesn't have a receiver yet. So not all micro bits that you're using to send data need a receiver but for demonstration purposes we're going to add a receiver to this one too. So we we'll go back to radio. And we go not group, not send, we go scroll down to receive. Now we're sending a number, so we need to use the on radio received receive number. Add that in here. So what happens is we press A, it sends number four, and we're going to receive it. But we need to be able to show whatever has been sent. So we go to basic, we then show number, add that in here. And this time, so if I press A on my simulator, I'm sending number four, but what's showing up on the receiving? micro bits is zero and that's not what we want so we have to change that so what we do is we select this received number this kind of redder block and we just click and drag it and put it in here so now we're saying whatever number is received that's what number we need to show we test that out press a and it shows up with four there you go if i change this number to something else say six press a that would send six we'll do 68 and it will show and you see there it will show 68 so there you go that's our number done okay so now that we've got a number being sent from one micro bit to another by pressing a we can then look at how we can send maybe words or strings as they're called in coding especially in micro bits so to do that we're going to keep our a where it is instead though we're going to go to input we're going to get another on button A pressed. But this time you see it will grey out and that's because we already have one that has on button A pressed. So to make that active and we can use it, we need to change the A to a B. So we click on the drop down, change it to B. You might have guessed by now, we're going to use the same thing as here. Instead of radio send number though, we can click on radio, look at our blocks that we have available. We go down to this one, which is radio send string. And we pop that in there. So that means when we press button B, it's now going to send a word. 
we'll just put in hello for now. So when I press button B, it will send that word hello to the other mic bit. But again, it won't receive it. And the reason why is because we only have this on radio received received number at the moment. We need one for string. So if we go back to radio, scroll down on our blocks, we've got group, send, and receive. And this one here, second to the bottom, on radio received, receive string. And you guess it, it's the same process. Instead of show number, we need to add our basic. Scroll down a bit show string now it's got the word hello in it already so if i change this to yellow and i press b it should send the word yellow but as you can see on the micro bit that it's sending it to it's using the word hello and that's because we still have to transfer this received string over to that block there so now we've got show string receive string and that means whatever it receives it's going to show that on the micro bit. So now if we test it out, if we press A again, A gives us a number, B gives us yellow. There you go. And that's how to make sure that you can send and receive numbers and words to another micro bit or to a series of micro bits, depends how many you have set up, as long as they are all on the same frequency, so the same channel, if you think of it that way. Make sure though that you have this on both devices. So if you have this on one device, the other device needs to have the receivers on it. If it doesn't have the receive, then they're not going to receive the message and that's where problems can arise. So give it a go. Remember to make sure once you've done, you download. Now download it onto your micro bit. Takes a few seconds, but there you have it. If you then make any changes, so if you want to change a different number, go 42, oh, yep, 42, and change that to surprise word. Sometimes you can do it that way. So I need to remember to download to update. And this updates what you're sending. You don't have, the person who's receiving it doesn't have to update theirs because if they've got the receivers where it says received, it will receive whatever number you send it and it will receive whatever string you send it. It could be a word. Now there is another one here, but this is for another video where we look at values as well and sending data across the micro bit. But that's for another video. So yes, hopefully that helped. And you can have some fun sending and receiving messages to your friends. And this is what it looks like when you have downloaded this code onto both of your devices. So I've got my two micro bits here, this one and this one, they've both been set up with a sending a number and a string, but also receiving a number and a string. So if I press this one, it'll send the number 55. Pressing A, and then if I press A on this one, it'll send the number 42. This one, when we press B, it goes, ah, this one says boo. So you could do a little game here, but yeah, that's how we send them. They are connected with a battery pack. You could have a look at see how what's the distance of the radio waves that you can send. So you can go either end of the school, but also yeah, for sending numbers and data.